Hello friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm Handington, and today we have a cereal box review. This was apparently a family size, but finally my sister had used it up today. Was not very careful and left, left some uh, Rice Krispies on the table. Anyway, I am here to review the box before we toss it into the recycling. This is a very big box, about a, one pound, eight ounces. Huh. A pound of cereal. Snap, crackle, pop, Rice Krispies. Even though only Crackle and Pop are on the box. Oh, Snap is up above. Well, aren't I silly? So he's just, he's spinning this perfectly shaped strawberry around. Strawberries, I know some strawberries look about that perfect. I, I, I guess there's magic in the spin, which is how he's able to keep it on his finger. Despite the weight distribution being incredibly difficult to keep it upright. Besides it being at an exact perfect angle. And he, he's doing that over the cereal. There's some cut up strawberries above the milk, because, it, and, you know, the cereal is just part of a healthy breakfast. The health comes from the strawberries, which are, I mean, they're, it's, 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 it's no, bleh, 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 bleh. stuttered there. It's no spinach, but strawberries are decently healthy. My mind just broke for a moment there. Hope you didn't mind. Also, with these cereal boxes, uh, the cereal on the boxes, excuse me, the milk is, I believe, technically made using glue. So that's actually glue, but it looks delicious like milk, which is probably the reason why so many kids would want to eat paste, because it looks like milk. And on these boxes, it actually is paste. Ooh. That's how they uh, get to frame everything to look so much better. Look it up. So some of them may use real milk, but I believe these are, like, um, not that. And however they got the splash effect, that may just be... CGI'd in or drawn in or whatever. He's just so happy pouring it from this little tiny milk container. How many people own little milk containers like this? Normally you just pour in from the gallon into the bowl. I guess it, he, he's so small they would need that. I mean, how many people are going to pour from the giant gallon of milk into a tiny thing and then pour that into the cereal? You might as well just skip the middleman and then just pour it right in yourself. Ah, well. And then there's the Rice Krispie Treats over here, which is what a lot of people tend to make. Uh, using Rice Krispies if they feel like making something, or you'll just buy it from the little Rice Krispie Square packages, because why not? But in case you're interested in making a Rice Krispie treat in any shape that you want, boat, diamond, unidentifiable shape, oval, and any other things you'd want, they have a whole recipe on the back, which is the main thing that I'm going to focus on today. First off, I think this is really cool, giving you little ideas for what you could make your own Rice Krispie Treats to look like. A tiny little kite? That is amazing. And then there are little emojis, which I would be upset with at first until I remember, this is actually pretty cool to make. I, I'm okay with that. But the coolest thing of all is the boat, using little fruit loops on the side. And a little sail. This is like a perfect thing for a birthday party. I love that. It's so cute. Look look at this boat. Look at the little boat. Oh, that's something my mom would make for a little party. I love it so much. So we have this beautiful little um, kitchen that is in slight disarray with some Rice Krispies scattered throughout and all sorts of other little baking materials. They have the little recipe here. Create amazing fun. And they tell you a recipe for the Rice Krispies, butter, marshmallows, Rice Krispies, using whatever ingredients are here. I guess if you wanted to pause the video and look it up, you could probably do that. Jet puffed marshmallows, I guess they have a brand deal with them. And there it is in Spanish, I believe? Yeah. Check out more delicious fun. Oh, at Pinterest. I don't want to create a Pinterest account to look at Pinterest. It's so frustrating whenever that happens. Whenever you Google image a, a picture, and it's like, hey, you got to see it on Pinterest, and they stop you from seeing it. Though sometimes you're able to watch it. I'm speaking a mile a minute, because I don't know how much longer I have to review this box until my uh, father comes home. So I wanted to point out Crackle here. This is just wizard magic. What is he doing with the little tiny M&Ms and sprinkles? M&Ms that are not branded, by the way, which may actually be Reese's Pieces. Who knows? They appear to be the mini variety, like mini M&Ms. He's just, like, I imagine he's trying to juggle them or throw them, but he's not, like, they don't cross underneath him to look like he's juggling them. It just looks like he, he's creating a wind magic to keep them above his head, just to be like, whoa, and there, there it is. It's just... What is he doing? How, how can he keep them like this above the air? 
He's clearly not throwing them. They're not going in a particular direction. I have no idea what he's doing besides being a warlock wizard. And then there's a little... This is adorable with the little, like, um, Twizzler lines. Or, yeah, that's not made out of the frosting. That's made out of, like, the little, um... Oh, yeah, there it is. Those Twizzler ropes. Or whatever they are. The, the little pull-apart Twizzlers. I love that. It, ma it makes a tiny little kite. Oh, and that's the string for the kite. It wasn't just randomly thrown on there. Okay. I guess that's probably frosting, not marshmallow, around the corner. Maybe. So he's holding up these little things. They're like the different colored Twizzler bites. And then, of course, another Kellogg's cereal, the Fruit Loops, which they just casually throw in there. A lot of advertising on this, um, this the back of this box for other products. Make you want to craft stuff. And there's this awesome thing over here. And you may notice, huh, that's a strange-looking marshmallow. Huh, look at that. A different colored peanut chip. Uh, like a peanut butter chocolate chip. That's interesting. I wonder why that's there. Well, first off, here are the in directions and instructions on how to make the Rice Krispies, in case you were interested. I guess you could pause the video when my hand isn't slightly shaking, for uh, if, if you're interested. Otherwise, you could just Google image search uh, Rice Krispies if you want it better. You don't have to just pause some Handington video to be like, oh, what, what are the instructions again? Just, yeah, you could just look it up and print it out. But the other cool thing about this, oh, that's the let's talk, collect points or whatever. The cool part about this is the find these section in the little bottom corner here. Pink candy coated chocolate, because they can't say pink M&M. Oh, so it is chocolate. That's not uh, peanut, uh, Reese's Pieces. A square marshmallow, which from a certain point of view, if you look at a marshmallow, like, um, it has the circle on top, circle on bottom, and it's a cylinder. If you kind of squish it a little bit so it's no longer a rectangle, and you look at it directly in shape, like this napkin here, if you squish it down so that it's about half the size, and then you look at it straight on without seeing it from slightly above or below, uh, for the little rounded shape, then a marshmallow would still look square. But this, this is the square marshmallow they were talking about as it is, in fact, squished into a flat little square, which looks kind of like a pillow. Although, technically, it's a rectangle in this position, but that is the marshmallow that they are talking about. So you find that, Then there's the pink candy-coated chocolate, one of those tiny little chocolates. Could it be in here? Where could it possibly be? Oh, where could it be? Oh, he was holding it the whole time. His wizard magic made it kind of... It's, it's more magenta purple than it is pink. Yeah, this, uh, this bottom of the box is kind of a liar. And then there is the butterscotch chip. Butterscotch, it wasn't peanut butter, which I want to eat that. It looks more delicious than it does on the camera here. They did a really good job of making me just want to eat that butterscotch chip. Sometimes you see those in the store, like different flavored chocolate chips, and I'm just like, yes, I want this. And then last but not least is the heart-shaped sprinkle. This one was actually the hardest one to find on the box, because I didn't know... Where could it be? What could the heart-shaped sprinkle look like? So you start looking around. You see, oh, there's a bunch of sprinkles everywhere here. There's some sprinkles. Uh, there's no other sprinkles in the bottom, but there are sprinkles in the corner here. And then you're like, oh, okay, let me head over to where most of the sprinkles are. And then I realized, there it is. There's the tiny heart-shaped sprinkle. It's cute. I believe they actually made these things uh, when they placed them in there. Like, um, the elves are obviously drawn in, and these things are, like, photoshopped in. And then obviously, him holding the icing was also photoshopped in and whatnot. Uh, I imagine they drew him up, they had the picture of the icing, and then they took this whole image and then put him over here. But the way that they set up everything else, setting up the separate butterscotch chip to make this picture for this search and find, I like that. I think that's cool. I, re I really do think that they put that in there in the actual picture. Um, unless they have individual pictures that they just um, photoshopped around the area, and none of these things were actually placed on there. But personally, I'd like to imagine that they, they set up this whole little diorama of different Kellogg's things to make. And there's a little bowl of chocolate chips. I want to eat that bowl of chocolate chips. I love, I love eating chocolate chips. And these are cute little emojis, and if you don't like the fact that they are emojis, then you can just bite through their face and then eat them. So that this way they no longer uh, mock you with their existence. Though they made them kind of cute. Yeah, they're, they're kind of cute emojis. 
I'm not, I am not disturbed by them. Though I don't know why you'd have a plate of butters, butters and marshmallows just lying around all on the table. I, I, like, they, they should be, that should be used up if you've already made the Rice Krispie squares, uh, or Rice Krispie shapes, rather, not just squares. There they are. Snap, crackle, pop, their drawings. These look a little bit better. However they drew their faces look a little bit creepy. They, yeah, they just kind of look creepy. Also, another trick that you may not notice, um, very subtly, all of their eyes are pointing downwards. This is because, and this is a cool little trick that um, cereal boxes do, when it's up on a shelf and you're a little child looking upwards, it looks like they're looking down at you to make eye contact, to make kids say, yes, I want to eat the cereal, or I want, I want to buy the cereal. Which is why, if you look, all cereal mascots have their eyes pointed slightly downwards. So that this way, kids would be more inclined to buy it, because it looks like, oh, I'm looking, they're looking down at me. Oops. All right, well, that's the call to have to end the episode now. Uh, I believe it's that time again, friends. I'm going to look down, so this way it looks like you're seeing me. Except, since this is a YouTube video, you're not going to see it up on a shelf. So, there's no reason for me to look down. I can instead look directly at you. Buy my cereal. I shouldn't... One day, I would love to make a cereal. Get some sort of brand deal, Handington cereal. You'll see me on the box. Do -do -do. I actually would kind of like that. I'd have to think about that. Maybe, maybe one day. Probably not. But maybe one day. I would not be against doing that. I, I kind of would like a, a Handington breakfast cereal at some point. <laughs> anyway, I believe it is that time again, friends. If you like what I do, don't be shy to give a thumbs up. Have a pleasant day, everyone. And this is Handington, signing off. Bye! I hope I wasn't puffing into the microphone too much. Sometimes that happens.